So we have our basic to-dos application, which isn't really that functional at this point. The only thing we can do is add new to-do items and see how that appears in a repeated list. So the repeated list is being defined by setting the children of our container or items container, which is going on right here. Now the items container or the, the props, if you remember, are generated based on the, the labels of the elements that you define within the UI. So in this case, we have our items and for items, we have items props. And for add, add new item input, we have add new item input props. So it's camel cased and then props is appended to the end of that. And so there's a better way to define sort of repeated list of items. And I'll go ahead and, and do that. So we have um, this item that's going on right here. So we have these dynamic list of items. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and right click one and then wrap it in a slot. Now slots provide you with a way, sort of a, an area of a component that is replaceable. So with this slot that we have going on, if I go ahead and, and insert a new instance of this component, you'll notice now that we have an area of this component that we can replace. So The slots have the added benefit of providing us with some ability to sort of replace children directly within the user interface, which is especially nice, especially when you start sort of constructing these UIs together. If you remember correctly, we have uh, individual items, nested items that may have controllers attached to them. So having the ability to sort of compile the entire UI directly within tandem is possible in part because slots exist. So with that, we have our dynamic list of items that's kind of going on. Um, we have our replaced item. The instances, the instances uh, for each uh, slot, uh, the instances have a uh, sort of plug, which is represented by this, this icon right here, uh, which sort of tells us the slots that we can the we, we can replace children of. So if we delete this element, you'll notice that the default children go back to what it was for the component. So we'll just go ahead and, and delete this. We'll save that code. So now that we have our slot defined, we can go ahead and change our controller code to use it. So I'll go ahead and change this to, uh, we're, we're seeing an error here because I went ahead and changed the items to items container. So we'll go ahead and, and just change that accordingly to get this thing to work again. To make sure that that works, that works. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and use our slot. And since this is a, um, a special kind of property, the only thing that it really expects is uh, children of that. So we'll change this to, you'll notice now that we have a repeated list of items. And we'll change that. Maybe we'll change this to something like uh, hello world. So we have hello world. And then if we were to remove this, you'll notice now that it goes back to the default children defined in the UI. So we'll go ahead and move this back. And that's basically it for slots.